Hi friends and welcome to Lori Tries Life. I'm Lori. It occurred to me that some people don't have the time to watch a 20 minute walkthrough of a tarot deck. So I've created 10 in 2. 10 observations in 2 minutes to help you decide whether or not to purchase a deck. So let's get started. Number one, the sturdy and stylish magnetic closing box is the perfect place to store your deck. Number two, the little white book, it's just enough to give a few key words, to give the artist interpretation, and to give the card meaning. Number three, the size of the deck is larger than a traditional tarot card. Number four, the card stock is a sturdy 350 GSM. Number five, no borders, just the title at the bottom of the card. Number six, it's a very colorful deck as you can see, yet it's not, it's not overpowering or garish in any way. Number seven, this deck is very approachable and non-threatening. It's good for maybe a younger person starting out reading the tarot, or if you're reading for someone who's a little apprehensive about the images in the tarot. Number eight, many decks have their copyright typed on each card. Joanna Nelson has signed each card but I was almost all the way through the Major Arcana before I no noticed that she signed each card. And now it's kind of like a Where's Waldo when I want to <laughs> find her signature. The best reason to buy the Monstero Tarot is to enter Joanna Nelson's imaginative world and be inspired by fantastical creatures. And 10, Last but not least is my trademark hashtag, which is love the shuffle. And although this is a larger deck, I can easily shuffle it from corner to corner. Get a good shuffle every time. So that's 10 reasons in two minutes. Thanks.